Hi guys, how are you? Okay, uh, imagine my surprise when I come to my living room and I find this. Look at this. Look at this dog. Look at this. This is Macarena. Now, many of you will remember her because she was rescued about a year and a half ago and she was living at the great house. And she was very shy. She wouldn't let me get any close to her. I could never touch her. I mean, in all the time that she stayed at the great house, I could never get close to her. Whenever she would see me, she would just run away, terrified. But look at this. This is what I brought her here 10 days ago. Because I wanted her to be socialized with me and my family. I wanted her to, to stop being afraid. And I wanted to be able to find her a great home. Now, I know that many of you have never seen a dog like this. You have never been close to a dog like this because this is very special. Today I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, well, I mean, I'm gonna show you some images of Macarena being cute and a princess, but I'm also gonna tell you some things about these dogs, about gargos, greyhounds, that maybe you didn't know. Now, gargos are the fastest dogs in the world. These guys run like the wind. It's incredible, 60 to 69 kilometers an hour. That's 37 to 43 miles an hour. Now, just imagine this guy, this girl is designed for a speed. She has very long limbs, very light super thin, no fat at all. And then she has these amazing muscles. I mean, I wish you could touch this. This is pure, pure muscle. It's, she's unbelievable, really unbelievable. There's also something very special about the way they run. They run so fast and so elegantly that they spend 75% of the time on the air. They just touch the floor with these with this long legs, and they literally fly. They are incredible. Now, galgos also have really, really high blood cells in their blood. And this is because they need a lot of oxygen to feed these muscles to run faster and to be the wonderful dogs that they are. Now, something else about galgos. You know, until now, whenever I shot a video of her, she was terrified. She was running away from me. She was really, but it turns out that when she's relaxed, she has this. She has this very, very long tail that they use to stabilize when they run. And they use it as a, some kind of rudder, you know, like a stabilization tool. Look at this. Look at this, they are unbelievable. Do you know that galgos or greyhounds can see anything up to 800 meters? I mean, if there is a mouse or, or a rabbit or something running out there, 800 meters, these eyes are incredibly powerful. They are not only powerful, they are also <laughs> positioned in such a way that she can see what's happening here, 270 degrees. It's like close to 360. So she can effectively see something that is happening behind. So it's incredible to catch them by surprise. It's really difficult. I mean, they just know they are super alert and they know what's going on. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Ay, Macarena. Would you believe that she never let me touch her? And, and look at her now. Look at her now. People also think that these dogs are very high energy. They look at them, they're designed for a speed, and they think, you know, this dog, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a big house with a massive yard for this dog to run. <laughs> no idea. This dog sleeps all day, 
18 hours a day. It's like a sleeping machine. I mean, really, it's so difficult to catch her awake. But when you see her awake, oh my God, the way she runs and the way she plays with her friends, she is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Galgos, greyhounds are also super healthy. Actually, they say that they are immune to some conditions like leishmaniasis. I've never seen a galgo or a podenko, their cousins that has leishmaniasis. These guys just don't get sick. So they're super resistant. And that's actually how they survive the shitty lives that their previous owners give them. Because these dogs are terribly abused. Terribly abused. Geraldine, where are the other dogs? They're out. They're out playing. And Rocky is somewhere, somewhere in the house. Anyway, this video is about Macarena. So, amazing, amazing dog. They have a type of blood that is the universal donor. They can donate to, to any other dog. Also, they are not only amazing runners. They can run super fast, as I say, 43 miles an hour. They can also jump. And they can jump, I've seen... Gagos jump like shoo, vertical takeoff. Shoo. They jump like helicopters. Unbelievable. Ah, Kirsten. Well, sometimes if they get it, they negativize, they, they, they negativize it really, really quickly. But I'm glad. I'm glad that she's fine. So, Macarena. A dog that right until just a few days ago, I could never touch. And look at her now. She is amazing. She is so soft, so polite. She's amazing with kids. Super social, gets along with every dog in my house, with every dog. And I tell you, a delight to have, a delight to have. So I just gave you some info because I really want Macarena to find a home. I mean, seriously, <laughs> I brought her and Coco here because I wanted her to get used to me, to be able to interact like that instead of, be, instead of running around scared all day. I wanted her to relax. Yeah, here, a little bit of sausage. She's crazy about <laughs> sausages and treats. She's really wonderful, really. So delicate, wow. You have the others, put that, put the, and they will just chew your finger. This one is so delicate. Huh, Macarena? Okay. Amazing dog. So the purpose of this video today is to find a home for this beautiful, beautiful animal. Te vamos a encontrar una casa. We're going to find a home for you. She deserves it. We rescued her from a shitty condition in the south, in Seville. She had a horrible owner, and she was being forced to eat garbage on the streets. She was never fed at home, so she had to go out and find food by the garbage containers. And look at her now. She doesn't have to work. She doesn't have to hunt for anybody. And she is a sofa machine. She loves to sleep. Please, guys, let's find her a home. Seriously. I cannot keep every dog. I know there's always going to be... There's, one of you are going to say, wow, keep her. Just another dog. Keep her. She's so happy with you. Yeah, but no, I'm an animal rescuer. Don't forget, I rescue animals and I find them homes. I don't have a dog collection here. These guys are, they need to have their own homes. But look at the change. Look at the change. Oh, she's beautiful. Now, these days over here, we have a, we have a holiday, Fallas it's called. And there are a lot of fireworks. And she hates fireworks. You know why? Because they remind her of what they did to her when she was out there. She was forced to hunt. 
she was forced to go after prey and, I mean, really, she must have lived in a horrible conditions. These, these dogs never live well. They never have proper lives until the moment they are rescued. Ay, baby. So, just have a look at her. Yes, yes, Rosaline, I agree. Most dogs, not, not all dogs, but most dogs hate fireworks. But when a dog has been used for hunting, they hate it even more. Especially after they left the conditions in which they live. I mean, a firework brings a memory of a shitty life. You have no idea how these dogs live. They live in packs of 20, 30, living in holes in the wall. They're called thulos here. And a thulo is literally a hole in the wall or a container or somewhere where they put them like if they were merchandise or something. I mean, I've seen these places with 30, 40 dogs stuck in a container with no ventilation and all dying in the middle of the summer, dying of heat. I mean, it's not uncommon to find dogs, 40 dogs, 50 dogs in one of these containers and boiling to death in the summer because people just forget about them. They leave them there. Anyway, this is Macarena. She needs, she needs a home. And I promise you, if you adopt her, she's going to make you happy. You're going to be proud of what you did. Because, I mean, her life was very, very miserable. And you're going to change everything for her. So, what does she need? She needs a home with another dog. She's very social. She needs the company of another dog. If she lived alone in a home with a human, she wouldn't be happy. She needs another animal. So, write to me. Tell me everything about you and your family and your dogs. I need to have another dog. My email address is, uh, is everywhere on every one of my videos. This is a very special dog, really. Unbelievable. And she gets along with everybody, including Rocky. Huh? <laughs> Rocky chases her tail. Oh God. Okay. <sighs> yeah, so these uh, this live videos are, are just uh, improvised, but, uh, but they really serve a purpose. I really want this, I really want this dog to find an amazing home. She's really regal. Ah, by the way, these dogs used to be reserved in the old times. They were reserved for nobility, for aristocracy, for royalty. And now they are the most mistreated and abused dogs there are. They use them for race, they use them for races. After they are not in tip-top condition, they kill them. I mean, I remember a few years ago in the UK, there was a big scandal because somebody had been killing thousands of these dogs that were used to race. Over here in Spain, they're used for hunting. At the end of the season, they are all discarded, sent, I mean, abandoned in the highway, in the roads, in the fields. They hunt them from trees. I mean, they tie them to walls with short chains. And I've seen, I've seen everything, really. And they're amazing. I mean, you have to be a coward, a really despicable human being to mistreat one of these dogs because they really cannot and will not defend themselves. I mean, Macarena is never going to do anything against any human being no matter how much you hit her, mistreat her, nothing. She will just not defend herself. If Victor can do anything, I'd like to see him put his leg between... <laughs> so what, 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 what? Somebody has just asked me, what? What do you want me to do? Hold on. <laughs> if Victor can do anything, I'd like to see him put his leg behind his neck. 
I don't understand. <laughs> Put my leg behind. Ah, yeah, right. My leg behind my neck. Yeah, it's not going to happen, Kirsten. <laughs> can't do that. Anyway, look at this. Amazing dog. Please, let's find her a home. Okay? I cannot keep her. She's a rescue. I need to find her an amazing home. By the way, questions. Alma, uh, yeah, I'm not so flexible. Alma is doing amazing. I will have an update on her very soon. I keep on, her family sends me videos and she's looking really beautiful. There will be an update on her soon. And uh, they're all okay. And Rocky is out there playing with the others. Rocky has to go to the hairdressers this week. He's, he looks like a mess. He's having a bad hair day. Uh, let's find her at home. Come on. Look at her. Look at her. By the way, there's going to be some emojis with her face on our channel member program. So if you can, consider joining us on that and you will see this beautiful face in your collection. She's amazing. She's really great. Ah, Lillian, Macarena's favorite food so far, chicken and beef, red meat. She loves it. She eats about half a chicken a day, sometimes a bit more. And because she burns a lot of energy. And she's, that's why she's so thin, because she burns a lot. She has a very efficient uh, metabolic, metabolic system. And uh, so she eats half a chicken a day. So she have a chicken, some beef, or quarter chicken and some beef and some other things. Yeah, it has to be raw. And she'll be happy. Very, very happy. Thank you. Thank you, The Secret Vault. Thanks a lot. Thank you for your help. Thank you. This one, every once in a while when people leave us these tips, is nice. I mean, yeah, it helps. It really does. Okay, so there she is, sleeping. She has 17 hours to go. <laughs> she sleeps all day. And then she goes, she wakes up, she goes out, does a couple of runs, chases, Chases Rocky or, or Mimi, and she goes back to sleep. She's best friends with Nano, best friends with Coco. Yeah. Come on, write to me. Adopt her. Put a gargo in your life. She deserves it. And you deserve it too. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Lots of love. Come on. Let's find a home for her, please. Look at that face. Just look at that face. Bye. Ciao.